The graph of y equals f of x is drawn on this grid here. And part a says we need to write down the coordinates of the turning point of the graph. So look at the graph here. The turning point is up here. It's a part of the graph where the gradient is zero. So we're going this direction and then we're moving to this direction. And the point where we switch between the directions there is the turning point. So to work that out, I'm just going to look along here. So on the y-axis, the turning point we can see. Okay, that's at four. Um, and now we're going to need to look at the x-axis. So if we go down here, we can see that, okay, so that's x equals one. So the coordinates of the turning point is one, four, because x equals one and y equals four. So we're going to move on to part b. So now for part b, we need to write down the roots of fx equals two. And to do this, we're going to follow these two steps. So firstly, we're going to draw the line y equals two. And that's because we need to find the roots of when fx equals two. Secondly, we're then going to look to see where the line y equals two that we've just drawn intersects the curve and the x coordinates of those points where it intersects are the roots. So hopefully it'll become clear in a minute when we do it. So I'm going to draw a line at y equals two. Okay, now I'm going to use a blue for this so we can see it clearly. So if I draw a line along here at y equals two, and now we need to look at the points where it intersects. Well, that's here and here. And now the roots are the x coordinates of these points. So if we look down here, that's going to be at 2.4. And now at this point, if we draw a line down here to see, that is going to be at minus 0 0.4. Fantastic. So now we found out both the roots they want, and we're going to write them down in the answer box here. So we've got 2.4 and minus 0 0.4. Last but not least, part C. So we need to write down the value of f of 0 0.5. So here are the two steps we're going to use for this question. So firstly, we're going to draw the line x equals 0 0.5, because we write down the value of f of 0 0.5. And then for the second step, we're going to write down the y coordinate of the intersection, because this is going to be the value of f of 0 0.5. Okay, so here is x is 0 0.5. So I'm going to draw a nice long line at that point. So now we look for where that line intersects the curve y equals f of x. And that's up here at this point. So that's halfway between 3.7 and 3.8. So it's going to be 3.75. However, it is quite hard to tell exactly where it is. So the mark scheme would accept anywhere from 3.7 to 3.8. And fantastic. Now we've worked that out. All is left to do is write 3.75 in the answer box here. And in this question, you just get one mark for getting the correct answer in each part.